Pixel Pushers Sadiq Hussain here uh, from the Pixel Pushers channel and uh, today we're going to be working our way through the tool so this is a quick overview of the pen tool it's near the bottom the pen tool now I always think that the pen tool is a little bit confusing in its um, terminology because a pen a, 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 a nibbed pen a fountain pen which is the image that you tend to get with this particular tool um, gives the impression that it's for writing or it's for lettering or it's for calligraphy or it's for um, ink work but of course it isn't the primary function of the pen tool and the accompanying tool that sits behind it the no tool is about selection it's about selecting objects but very very precisely so you're essentially tracing around an object so we've got these rocks here on the top of a hill and if we wanted to trace around those with the pen tool you know how would we do that so if we just zoom in a little bit there and if I enable the pen tool something to first of all to bear in mind is uh, the pen tool has different modes we've got a number at the top here six or seven and it defaults to the pen mode which is just the standard um, so, uh, uh, clicking and create uh, uh, placing nodes around an edge which we'll demonstrate we've got the smart mode which essentially is a bit like a magnetic lasso it sort of latches onto an edge We've got polygon mode, again, a bit similar to the lasso, where we've got um, straight lines only. So it's great for, um, say, a fence post or uh, a building. And of course, we've got straight lines uh, as well, if that's all we want to do. But the pen tool is also about, it is about tracing around an object. So you can use it as a selection tool, but you can also use it as a method of tracing around, say, a sketch so that you can then use that as a basis for a digital painting or a digital sketch but for now we're looking at its um, use as a selection tool okay so we're going to do it on this regular um, uh, mode so as soon as you press your mouse button it's not tracing around it so you have to be precise zoom in if you need to and as you can see it's leaving little nodes it is going in straight lines, but you can, when you go into the node tool, you can move each of these nodes to a degree where you can make curves out of it. Okay, so I'm just going to do a small section just to show you. Okay, and let's just say we're, we're drawing around here. Okay, so we say we're just selecting that. So that's, and then if each node we can change just by pulling and creating a selection so it's you can do curves as well okay let's just get rid of that for a second we're back to here again if we click on the actual no tool now we can move these individual nodes by clicking and dragging and you can see that now that you could trace round far more accurately by moving these about now remember we've really zoomed in here down to the pixel level so and we can click in a an area where there isn't a square node but by clicking in that we can bend the actual we can trace round very very precisely so if I zoom into here and say what well, here we could do with bending that there moving that out to there and bending that down you can see how we can really control where the where the selection is going to be so it's very precise but of course it's very time consuming so if you if you find that it's something that you want to be very precise with then it's very useful uh, to use the pen tool so just be mindful that the pen tool 
is really accompanied by the note tool. So use the pen tool to draw, to trace out your um, uh, rough uh, uh, shape. So for example, if we went up here to this rock here, you, you could, in theory, just roughly trace it like this. And then go into the node tool and then fine tune it. I'll just cut across here for now just so that you can see. Now, of course, some images you, where you were doing a selection, you don't need to use this tool. And in fact, this particular rock would be perfectly adequate and it would work really well if you used the selection brush which is what I default to but as we're going through the tools we're describing them um, you need to know what each tool does how it works and how you can apply it to a particular situation so now we're on the node and I can fine-tune that selection so it fits exactly around each area and you can see how how precise you can be these bezier curves is really something that you can lose yourself in and as i said it depends on the application depends on the subject but the pen tool is a very very potentially very powerful tool and a very precise one and it's not and you'll notice that it's not available or you'll know that it's not available in some low end um, editing programs now for years and years and years i've now been with affinity photo for a couple of years but prior to that a bit longer actually but prior to that uh, i'd always use photoshop but more more specifically photoshop elements because that served my needs but one of the tools that Photoshop Elements didn't have because it wasn't deemed necessary to have a high-end tool like the pen tool is that it didn't have that tool. And whereas Affinity Photo, which is actually cheaper than Photoshop Elements when Elements was uh, its heyday a few years back, it's cheaper than that to buy and it's a one-off price. It's not you know having to buy a new version every year, which is what Photoshop Elements was doing. But... It also has virtually all of the tools, if not more, of the uh, full-blown version of Photoshop. So in that sense, it's a fantastic alternative to Photoshop. Hence why, of course, we're here and you're watching these videos, tutorials, and why I'm a wholesale and advocate of Affinity Photo, uh, because I think it's a really, really good, cost-effective, but highly powerful and flexible photo editing and graphics program. Hope you found that useful, a quick tour around the um, pen tool. Use it appropriately, it works really well, but you do need to allow yourself to have the time to really use it well. Thank you for watching and let's have some comments and some likes, really appreciate that. Thank you very much.